Hello there. What's going on, everybody? We are going to be taking a look at Cad Bane today, finally, uh, with the sleek, sleek packaging. Look at this. It's, it's much, so much thinner than they uh, used to be. Look at that. Uh, we're going to unbox this thing. We're going to build it, take a look at everything that comes inside here and see what he looks like put together as well. So this is super exciting. If you didn't already know, I have a huge giveaway running all month long for a $100 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. I am sorry that this is coming a little bit later. Uh, Pre-order shipping was really, really slow on uh, this latest wave. So I am looking at like a, a week late uh, delivery on this thing. So sorry about that, everybody. But uh, this was totally out of my control. So uh, we're gonna unbox this whole thing and take a look. All right, so. Here we go. Oh man, a lot has changed. It's not just the size of the box or you know some of the changes with the packaging here for the Game Genix sleeves, but we also have a completely different type of insert. Look at all this, they, they've totally changed. Look at this, we got white instead of black paper? What's up with that? They've changed everything. Wow, that's so cool. All right, awesome. Um, all right, so here we've got our little thing here and uh, it's going to show you how to build them of course uh, of course we're going to go with this way probably what is he doing there getting ready to blow up some bombs no uh, windless you want to i saw somebody put his hat on padme and i thought that was hilarious so um i don't think i'm going to do that but and of course we've got there our little expansion rules insert uh that is going to cover the uh, tokens and this is big, like the biggest thing is the bane tokens how you um deal with those so uh, if you want to read that closely, I'm just gonna scroll through nice and slow. You can pause the video at any time. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit more. There's Here I Am, there's Kablamo, and there's Smoke and Mirrors. And then here's all the rest. Um, oh yeah, did you not know how Blast and Bounty and all that other stuff work? There it is. All right, um, but yeah, so, so we'll talk about, but, they're, but they're basically the tokens here, and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we look at the pips. Um, we're going to unload this thing here shortly, but first let's take a look at our sprue. So we've got, uh, we've got our body is pretty much one piece, which is actually, man, this is going to be real easy to put together, right? Real easy to put together. we got one, well, two pieces, I guess, you know, you get the back and the front. Uh, then of course we've got, um, his little snorkel and we've got his arm, one arm, we've got head with the hat, head without the hat. Oh, that's how they do it. They give you, oh, so you can't, see, that's kind of a bummer. So it's not gonna be as easy just to magnetize the hat and have it come on and off because the hat's kind of like that. They really want it to stay on there really good. I don't like that. I was really hoping the hat could have just gone on and you could have put it however you wanted. Well, so you could have it tipped down or tipped really far up and looking silly and stuff like that. But, um, oh well, and it is how it is. Um, We've got the uh, arms and then the other arm. So uh, I think this is if he's, this is the arm for if you want to point it straight down. Of course, you can probably uh, change these up too. You have one down and one up, or you have them both up, or one doing this thing and that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got all of this stuff. Let's take a close up look at that. All right, so here is our cardboard. We're actually getting two pieces of cardboard in this particular set. We're gonna get our operative token, uh, some immobilized tokens, lots of suppression, lots of surge, and two sets of the Bane tokens, one for blue player, one for red player. Of course, this is if you're playing against another Cad Bane, so you can mark whose are whose. And uh, while they all have the gun symbols on the back, on the front, they have the Here I Am Kablamo and Smoke and Mirrors signs. Of course, the, this is going to make Cad Bane teleport to this spot. This one's going to be a bomb, and this one's going to do nothing. This is the bluff. And, yeah, so, and we'll, we'll talk about those a little more when we get to the, uh, the, the, the command cards. So first up, we're going to have Cad Bane himself. He's 125 points, one miniature. He's got training, comms, gear, uh, the, the, the gun, the, 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 the grenades. Uh, he's got three black for his uh, for his melee, which is actually not bad. Um, both surges, hit and defense. He's got speed two. He's got a four dice Pierce one uh, dual LL thirty blaster pistols, uh, which is really nice. He's got steady, which is really going to make him. Uh, that's his like maybe his best keyword. He's got jump, which is awesome. Bounty, of course, is good. Danger sense two. 
definitely adds to the survivability considering the white defense die. Uh, Sharpshooter 1, which is real nice, especially when you combine it with Pierce, and Steady, which is just amazing. So after he does a move action, he may perform a free ranged attack action. I love, love, love that. Uh, 6 health, 3 uh, courage, which is going to really be super useful. And uh, yeah, really good stuff. Now I hit for upgrades. He's going to come with the Electro Gauntlets, which you can equip to him uh, to give him some, uh, you know, Jedi fighting ability, which is going to be nice. This gives him a mobilize and suppressive for the uh, melee attack. And of course, uh, you have to exhaust it if you want to do it, but you can perform moves while engaged with a unit that has one or more immobilized tokens, even while this card is exhausted. Now, currently, I believe... The only way to give somebody immobilized is, for separatists at least, is through Cad Bane. But I'm sure once we get more bounty hunters, that won't be the only one ever. Um, as far as other stuff, we are gonna have we're gonna get situational awareness, which is the new card uh, that is part of this wave. And this one is gonna be only two points for training. It's gonna let you spend a block to uh, or dodge rather to cancel uh, critical results. But if you put this on a support unit, it makes it cost six points instead of two, or it rather increases the cost by four. Which is a better way to word it in case the cost ever changes for competitive play, because they do occasionally do points adjustments. This is really there just uh, to make it more expensive on Tauntauns. They're the ones most likely to want to take this one, so that it's, so it's cheaper for everybody else, more expensive for Tauntaun. We're going to get another copy of Offensive Push. We're going to get Comms Jammer. Smoke Grenades, and then the other new card for this wave, Ascension Cables, which may be one of my favorite cards out of this wave. It's a cheap equipment slot. Uh, it gives you a free action that gives you scale until the end of your turn, which is just a really great ability. Um, I, you know, I don't know if Cad Bane needs it as much, considering he has Jump 1 built in, but it is a really good card because it's letting you uh, ignore difficult terrain. It's giving you that free clamber. Uh, and uh, it's just it's uh, it's so good um, before you before or after you move it's basically kind of turns you into a little miniature Darth Grievous which I'm Darth Grievous <laughs> General Grievous um, but uh, but yeah so you're um, but but we combine with jump you, if you really needed to move that could help you be extra super hyper mobile well, I don't really expect anybody to need to be that mobile but you never know maybe maybe you'll want to uh for command cards we're gonna have i'm your worst nightmare his one pip he means uncanny luck too you know that uh, han solo has uncanny luck and that's just being able to re-roll two dice every time you're being attacked which is super i mean combine that with danger sense it's awesome Ooh, he's gonna be really hard to kill this way especially for a character with white defense dice it's gonna make him semi-survivable and during his activation, he can perform up to two attack actions. What makes that so good is the fact that he has steady. Uh, so after he moves, so he can move and attack and move and attack. So he's actually almost getting two uh, whole activations out of that, which is really nice. And that's actually maybe another reason to consider giving him uh, situational awareness. Because he, you know, he might want to like do a clamber and a and a move because it doesn't say standard move, so it's just so you might be able to like you know move like clamber shoot and then move shoot and then still have another action you know like i i, I feel like that's a possibility um we'll see if they rules reference to say that you can't do that but i think you i think you could technically do that all right uh i'm in control here two pip uh it's cad bane and one unit so it's nice that an operative is also giving out orders to somebody else uh, at the start of Cad Bane's activation, he can transfer any number of his suppression tokens to any number of trooper units at range 1 to 2. Uh, and of course, there's going to be probably enemy trooper units, but hey, maybe there'll be a reason you want to give them the friendly units at some point too. Like more, maybe more separatists will have danger sense. I feel like that's something that's coming. I expect Aura Singh is probably coming and maybe she'll have danger sense too. Maybe Hondo. Uh, I don't know if that's actually supposed to be Hondo, but it looks like Hondo to me and... Maybe he'll have danger sense, right? Uh, each enemy trooper unit that gains at least one suppression token in this way also gains an immobilized token. Of course, making those gauntlets better because now there's multiple ways you can use them. I really like this card. It's going to be super useful. And it does mean you probably want to take duck and cover on Cad Bane if you're running this card. Um, 
And then I make the rules now. This is the one that really has, uh, you know, makes him such a game changer. It's his three pip. Uh, he, you can divulge it, right? You can divulge this card during the de deploy units step. And if, and if you do, then it's going to have one effect. If not, it's going to have a different effect. If this card was not divulged, then you can play this normally. So you can then just place a Bane token within range one of Cad Bane and beyond range one of all enemy units. Uh, so you can just use this to drop a, a big old nasty mine. It's a three pip, and it's only giving him one, though. So the better way to use this card, at least off the bat, is during the deploy unit step, place three Bane tokens on the battlefield beyond range one of any deployment zone. Do not deploy Cad Bane. This card must be selected during round one. So the, it, like, it, so if you divulge it, you're going to be able to place the, the, the tokens and... You don't deploy Cad Bane, so he's only getting on the board if somebody hits the, the Here I Am card. So how do these cards work? Well, first off, you've got Here I Am. If Cad Bane's on the battlefield and is not defeated, uh, his Here I Am token is replaced by his miniature. If he's not on the battlefield, his, uh, then he issues himself an order. If he's not on the battlefield, or if, or if he is on the battlefield, he gets replaced with his miniature and assign any tokens to Cad Bane remain assigned to him. If he's defeated, the token just ends up being removed. This is lets him warp around. So you might, it's almost like, it's almost like infiltrate, if you use that one. The other one, Kablamo, is just, it's self-sufficient. Self it's this mine, range one, impact two, blast, suppressive, surge to crit. I mean, that's, that's just a nasty, nasty mine. Uh, and then, of course, there's smoke and mirrors. The token is removed. Uh, an, an interesting, really interesting thing is this bottom paragraph, which, I hadn't noticed earlier, it says, at the start of any round, starting with the blue player, a player may reveal a friendly Here I Am token and resolve its effects. What I think is really cool about this is this gives you an alternative way to play this, because maybe I don't reveal it now. Maybe I deploy him normally, but I still select this turn one. Cad Bane, in my deployment zone, safely places a token uh, in my deployment area. And then, then, I, you know, then I start moving out. I move out, I, I claim, I do recover the supplies or something like that. I gain some tokens, do or, or man, manage to get bounty on somebody and I don't want Cad Bane to die, right? Then at the start of a round, I just reveal the Here I Am token, warp Cad Bane all the way back to safety, and then he can't, you know, hopefully, presumably, he won't be able to be killed at that point. Really cool way to cross over the battlefield in one turn. Uh, that's another way to do it. I think that would be fun. I think that would be fun. All right, let's uh, let's build this guy out. All right, we've got him put together, and I went with the two-gunned pose. Now, you could have changed out this arm here with the other alternate pose, but then it was kind of poking into this arm, so you really can't mix and match quite as much as I thought, not without getting kind of creative. Uh, but everything went together real easily, uh, so that's good. The head went on there real good. Uh, the little little breathers kind of went on there really easy and just touched the head perfectly so I didn't really have to fiddle hardly with anything. Um, yeah, and then the two arms went on pretty good too. Uh, really, really nicely done model here. Like, uh, I'm loving, I'm loving the, the folds in, in the duster. Uh, I, I'm loving, I'm loving everything, man. Like, I just love the curves. I love the, uh, the detail. Um, very, very pretty looking guy. I'm sure he wouldn't want to be called pretty. And I certainly wouldn't say that to his face. But, yeah, no, it looks great. Looks very cool. Um, and I've got a couple alternate stuff I didn't use. I didn't use the regular head. Maybe I will. You know, you could probably put that on a clone. Because he did kind of steal clone armor at one point. So that's a good uh, alternate way to use that piece if you wanted to do that. That would be pretty fun. All right, well, that's going to do it for Cad Bane, guys. Go ahead and let me know what you think down in the description below. Be sure to check out uh, some of the merch that is available down there. we got new masks and new uh, shirts and all kinds of cool stuff. That's uh, And that's going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to the patrons on Patreon as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for your continued support. And as always, have a great day.